History lesson, gang, so prepare yourselves to laugh and learn as we discuss the most insane political leader of all time. What? Learn? I just want to see you dip your hand in oil, mate. Like this. Ah! I would rather that guy be in charge of me than the man I'm about to share with you who was leader of one of the greatest societies of all time. The Roman Empire. Of civilization in an otherwise barbaric world, ruled by a man who is as mighty and just as the gods themselves. All hail, Emperor Elagabalus! Who here will insert a map into my regal loins? Uh, I'm sorry, my lord, did you just ask me to put a vagina in you? Yes! Turn me into a hermaphrodite, you miserable doctor! Break me a human snail! Yes, all hail the snail. <laughs> That's right, there was once an emperor of Rome that sent out a request for someone that can put a veg in me! And that's arguably not even the weirdest thing he did. He used to whore himself out in front of brothels dressed as a prostitute. Now remember, this is like the United States president yelling, Bang me. Bang me, you plebber, I'll have you killed. How old are you? Fourteen. Oh my god, I've either got to become a pedophile or die! He married five women, including one woman who said, Um, I'm already married, so no. So Alagabalus killed her husband. <laughs> and while the wife was still weeping, said, Now you have to marry me. And then divorced her two months later. Get out! Get the hell out! He also circumcised himself in the middle of the Senate. Watch! We were discussing hospital reform! And you might not find this weird, but I found this incredibly odd. He changed the religion of Rome. Everyone had to worship a rock. Historical evidence. Here's the emperor, and here's the rock on the other side of the coin. And did so in some bizarre ceremony where he danced down the main road of Rome, looking at the rock going, This is the best rock ever! Such a good rock! Even his own guard, and keep in mind that at this point he'd been in power for four years, thought, This guy's gotta go. And killed him when he was sitting on the toilet. <laughs> I'm doing a shit! 50 million people, which at this stage was about a quarter of the world's population, had to be governed by a man who used to get slaves to beat him. Come on, hit me. Hit me in the face. I'm supposed to be feeding you grains. Hit me! <laughs> yeah. And nowadays, people complain about politics because of trivial reasons like The president hasn't done anything to keep gas prices down. Yes, you should be ashamed of yourself, Mr. President. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to kill some boys. That's right. He also used to sacrifice children to the rock. Are oh, you that fight, Mr. Rock? I'm still hungry. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.